Roast crabs. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you do me real quick first. What I want to go for, dude. I can't really see this. What I want to go for is this weak point right here. All right. Because no matter how strong his grip is, he's got this little gap right here. So if you lay your hands and make this shape as if you're holding the hands nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, right click. <laughs> now you really know what's happening, right? And it's still even hard. So if you square off with me a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking my wrist and leave it where it is and come to the wrist and I want to get my elbow. See if you're, uh, you're being stiff, right? I want to get my elbow right above yours and then I'll give a little torque down and it just slides right out of that gap. Alright, let's see on the other side. Mostly that. And a way to go, there's a way to go against it too, and I'll show you that too. But it's really nice and easy. I bring my elbow up over top of yours, and then by the time it's up there, it's already got leverage. Yeah. All it takes is a little thump on the end, and if you're really strong, I can just throw my body into it and make it happen. Alright, so if you got two here, I'm going to where I'm feeling like I'm in the middle again. I started feeling like I wasn't. I'll bring one up over. And as soon as I get that out, there should be a coiled up spring sort of feeling in here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab it again. And you're, you're holding back the spring by hanging on to it. Right? So what I'm doing is freeing that spring. I need to go with it. And to go with it, it should be hit you. Right? Otherwise, I'm, I'm, do it again. Otherwise, I'm wasting an opportunity here. Yeah. Right? It's a Some people are just like, oh, I need to go ahead and do the other arm. No. Because right. I can instantly grab and we could just keep <laughs> doing that. Boom, oh, yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. So, when it comes out, I want to hit here, and then I can use a little trap if I want to make sure that arm stays, and I can do it on the other side. Bam! And these can also be hits into your collarbone if I want them to be. Depends on how strong you are and how the situation goes, but if I'm a little bit of ways, <laughs> use this way to climb over. It kind of traps your hands for me too, right, if you got both. It kind of makes them trap each other down there. <laughs> Wrist grabs down low. Okay, let's turn it like this a little bit. I'll see it a little better. What I'm doing is the, like, over a second, doing the internal rotation from the first part of the form. Kind of using this. Maybe if I go up here so I can see it a little better. I don't even know if that's so low. Like, the internal rotation from the cylinder towel, except I'll just use one arm. So I'm here. And then, same concept where I go for the weak place in the thumb. One arm's going to come up under, while the other one's going to slap this arm here. And we'll turn it this way so you can see, like this, right? And I'm going for that weak place, slapping here and grab and hold. Oh, I'm coming out. So down here, it's like this. All right. So nice and slow. I have to hit and then do my little internal rotation, right? And if I wind up, he's going to get stronger because he knows I'm about to do something. All right, so I have to be here. And have to do it on fly. Right? I have to do it with that <laughs> reflex explosive springiness. Right? And then as a bonus, my added combo after that, because this is your, the concept is just this, right? That's your concept. He's handcuffed himself. That's your concept. You got out. Okay. The bonus finisher combo. Hit here, then I will give him a little jut sal. Go ahead and hang on. Jut sal into my elbow, right? So my arms out. Boom. And then I'll unfold there. Do a nice little gonsal down, boom, spring off. So it'll be like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus. Anyway, let's see next. Those two wrist grabs. Oh yeah. Also, what happens if I grab one of your wrists? What do I do? Yes. Oh, you failed. What? If I only grab one, you punch me with the other hand. <laughs> right. That's 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 uh, one thing for everybody. If any right. martial arts guy ever comes up to you and says, "What do you do if I do this?" He grabs you any kind of way like this. You punch him, even if you hit him in the chest and let him know. Yeah, that's what I would do to you. I don't care what kind of technique you got. If you got a free hand, you hit him, and then you can do something to get out. Yeah. But hit him first. Right.